Welcome back to 20 Minutes or Less. My name is Elliot Morgan, and that is Joe Beretta, so we're all clear now. We're good. We know each other. Okay. A man in Texas caught another man molesting his four-year-old daughter, and then he did what a lot of people say they do. He beat the man in the head several times until he was, you know, dead. Lavanca County Sheriff Michael Harmon said the death occurred around the time of 3.45 p.m. on Saturday. The names of the victim, the perpetrator, and the dead guy have not been released. The attacker, however, was 47 years old and from the town of Gonzales. As of right now, no arrests have been made in the case, and according to the sheriff, the father came home and caught the 47-year-old man attempting to molest his daughter. The father then attempted to stop him. He evidently succeeded succeeded as he repeatedly struck him in the head until he was dead. The girl was taken to a hospital for an examination and the case remains under investigation. The sheriff explained that he was not sure what charges, if any, would be filed. The attacker was declared dead at the home and his body will be undergoing an autopsy. Elliot, I feel we should probably recap the facts of this story real fast. Okay, yeah, so a uh, man attempts to molest child. Father of child kills man. Okay, yeah, I think that pretty much sums it up. Yeah, nailed it. All right. Okay, now keep in mind we're going to discuss this matter as it was reported. In other words, new information might come about in this case and our opinions will just accordingly. For example, did the perpetrator have a gun? Was he really molesting the daughter? Was it really the father's beating that killed the man? Or did he just spontaneously drop dead? All of these questions will be answered in the days to come, but for right now, we're going to discuss it as it was reported thus far. The question of whether the father should be punished has a lot to do with whether he acted as a vigilante. From a legal standpoint, if he acted as a vigilante, then he could potentially serve time. And of course, there's the moral issue of whether killing another human is ever okay. Yes, just about every parent on the planet would agree that if they saw someone trying to molest their child, they too would murder them. Yep. But this could be considered manslaughter regardless, and just because something is entirely understandable doesn't necessarily mean it's right. The good news for this guy is that he's in Texas. Yep. So hopefully no jury will convict him, and honestly, charges might not even be filed against this guy. And if they aren't, good. I probably would have killed him. Manslaughter, murder, whatever. It wouldn't really be a question of motivation. It would just be blind rage. It's a crime of passion, if it's a crime at all. I'd black out in a whirlwind of maniacal hatred and turn his skull into a bean dip of blood red chunky soup. You want to call me a vigilante? Fine. Murderer, I'll take it. I totally understand why this guy beat this other guy to death. I may not say that it's right, but I understand it. Okay, yeah, totally. The daughter was four years old. <sighs> Okay, there comes a point when, sure, yeah, maybe beating a man is a crime. Maybe it's murder. Okay, maybe it's immoral. But guess what? I would rather serve time and be immoral and have a record than stand aside and be like, oh, I'm sorry, I can't help because it's illegal. Certain things go beyond the law. And at the end of the day, according to the facts that we know right now, most people are probably going to rally behind this guy. But the real tragedy is that this little girl may or may not have been abused. And it's easy for people to get all rageful, like myself, and want to kill a bad guy. But it's also important to remember that the real victim here is a four-year-old girl. And then, of course, it's the fact that this guy could be and then this man's actions would be considered self-defense. So what are your thoughts on this? What should the man's punishment be, if any, and why? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, it helps us out a lot. If you could possibly click that like button, you can subscribe if you like seeing our faces. And we have this annotation, or you can go to sourcefed.com, see our five daily stories, or anything else we've ever done. My name is Elliot Morgan. I'm Joe Beretta. We will see you in a couple hours.